So Mississippi State fires Zach Arnett after the first year of going four and six so far. Fires Zach Arnett after the first year. He hadn't been in there a full year. After going four and six. Just give my thoughts on this thing. My thoughts on this thing. Mississippi State, what are you exactly looking what are y'all exactly looking for? Uh to me, four and six, Mississippi State. It goes hand in hand to me. And I ain't trying to I ain't trying to shit on honestly. I'm not trying to shit on Mississippi State. Uh I seen Mississippi State have better days. But is national championship and playoffs really what are y'all what what y'all looking for? Do y'all really think y'all can get somebody in that can get y'all to the playoffs at least? At least let's 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 remember too. We are going to twelve teams next year, but do y'all really find a coach that can get y'all to the playoffs at least? What are y'all looking for? Best years I remember from Mississippi State is Dak Prescott years. My leech. Had something going good. My league had something going good. My RP to him. But firing a Zach Arnett, is it too soon? Do you got to give him more time? Do y'all feel like he was in over his head? I'm asking a question. Mississippi State fans, any college football fan. Uh, Mississippi State this year didn't look as lively as they have been in the past, but it's understandable. First year, first year head coach, first time head coach. I want to say, uh, gotta give him time to figure it out. But with that being said, you fire him in the hopes of getting who? Now I have been hearing people saying Jimbo Fisher of the Mississippi State. Can he even do that right now? Uh, I don't know what his contract looks like, but usually I know when he's. Dudes get bought out like that, they can't coach. But I don't know. I, I don't know. It, it, so, somebody can enlighten me in the uh, comments. Somebody can enlighten me in the comments. But this brings on to the next thing I was thinking about all that day. Was the Zach Arnett hire an emotional hire from the get-go? We all know after the passing of Mike Leach, R.P. Mike Leach, we all know after the passing of Mike Leach, they, 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 they hired him to be the head coach. Should they have took their time and just just found found a head coach and kept him as the DC? He was a decent play defensive play caller for them for Mississippi State. Or did they make an emotional hire real quick because of what was going on? I think that's what it was. Did they really want him from the get go? Kind of feel like they didn't want him from the get go. Now, uh, Zach Arnett, I'm gonna say this to you. Word of advice. I know you're probably not going to see this. I know you're not going to see this. I'm just a little person. I'm just a little person in this in this big YouTube world. But I can recall when you play Alabama, I know it was going downhill fast. But your face expressions on the sideline doesn't help your team for the future. Just to let you know, you have to still look like you're motivated into, into it yourself. But I will say, it was kind of early, but it makes me wonder, was it just an emotional hire from the get-go? Don't know. I don't know. This is just me thinking, thinking things out. And another thing, who do y'all plan to go get? Who, who, who do people think Mississippi go, can go get and get them to winning seasons and decent bowl games? Because... Me personally, seeing Mississippi State all oh, my lifetime, I think this is what their ceiling is. Mississippi State, not a very big market. I have talented players coming out of high school down there every year, and they actually have talent in Miss that goes to Mississippi State. But to me, the ceiling for Mississippi State is winning seasons. Winning seasons and decent playoff ball, decent on um, ball games. I don't, I don't see a coach coming down there getting them to the uh, playoffs and <coughs> competing for the national championship. I don't see a 
Colts come down there ever winning the West. I could be wrong, but I, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. So what what are y'all looking for in a coach? What are y'all looking for in a coach? And I'm a, I, uh, I can't think of his name right now, but I'm going to tell you the coach I think they can come down there that's a, a, a coach, a good coach that's building and can actually coach and develop players, develop talent that he gets. Is the coach, the head coach from Kansas, head coach from Kansas, do y'all think he would want to come down? And no, I think Mississippi State job is bigger than the Kansas uh, head coach football job. Uh, do y'all think he would like to come down and give him a shot at SEC? Because I know a lot of coaches, a lot of teams look for uh, the big name. They look for the big name a lot. They look for the big name. And just because it's a big name, that might not be the right fit for what, what, what needs to be for your program. And if it's a big, big name, they're probably not coming to Mississippi State. Dan Mullen did a good job, but you seen what happened when he was doing a good job. What he do? Leave for Florida. You know, my Leach was there, but unfortunately he passed, you know. I think my leech was getting Mississippi State to a Mississippi State standard. But I think the head coach from the Kansas City Jayhawks would be a good coach to come in, no aces all ready to develop players, bring in a coaching staff that can help develop players. Shout out to Jonathan Wallace, my first cousin on uh, is the running back coach for the Kansas City Jayhawks. But I think he can bring in the right players to get Mississippi State to a Mississippi State standard. And I guess that's like I said, winning seasons, decent bowl games, win the egg bowl on, on, on a more consecutive, ba more consecutive basis. But my question is, Mississippi State, was it an emotional hire from the get-go? What are you looking for? And what do you expect? Like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Roll Tide and I'm out.